Hi, my name is Tom Reuter with Spray Foam Engineers and I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick look at the Spray Foam, uh, the Spray Foam gun, the Graco Fusion gun, otherwise known as the Graco Air Purge gun. So uh, this is probably the, um, the most popular Spray Foam gun in the industry. Uh, it's not my favorite gun, uh, I do like it, but um, I'll show you my favorite gun in a different video. Um, uh, but if you're spraying foam and you've never sprayed foam before, there's a good chance this is the gun you'll be spraying with. Uh, and then, you know, no matter what gun you're spraying with though, if, uh, if you're spraying foam and you're having some kind of a problem and you have to stop spraying and figure out what's going on, then 95% uh, of the time the problem is something with the gun. You got an O-ring that's broken or something along those lines. And, uh, and you just have to disassemble the gun and figure out where the problem is, replace the O-ring with your handy package of extra O-rings, and then put the gun back together again and keep spraying. So, um, so we'll just go ahead and show you how to take apart um, the front end of this gun, actually, because that's primarily where you're going to have any problems. So uh, when, when the chemicals actually come into the gun, they really stay in this front front end of the gun right here, you can actually see this is where the A chemical comes in and this is where the B chemical comes in, those are the check valves. And then they actually, the chemicals go in through the check valves and then into side seal chambers and then right out of the mixing chamber right there and, uh, and that's, that's how the foam gets sprayed. So, um, so if you're ever having a problem and you need to replace an O-ring, there's a good chance that the O-ring needs to get replaced, it's right inside this area right here. So showing you how to disassemble the gun then. Uh, you can go ahead and take the air cap off right here. That's the first thing. So you get the air cap off, and then you can take off the retaining ring right here. That comes off next. And then uh, after that, there's you can you, you have the side seal uh, chambers exposed, so you can see them both right there. There's the A side seal chamber and the B side seal chamber. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to kind of pull these out a little bit so that they're not pressed up against the mixing chamber. And sometimes that can be difficult, but we got that done. So now they're kind of sticking out a little bit. So now the mixing chamber will wiggle a little right there. But now, now that we know that these aren't pressing up against the mixing chamber, you can go ahead and unscrew the lock ring and free up the front of the gun. So uh, if we had attempted to unscrew the lock ring while the side seal chambers were pressed all the way in, we could have scratched up the mixing chamber right here and then we would have had to either uh, resurface the mixing chamber or replace it and it's you know $200 part so you, know, you don't want to do that. So, um, so here's the mixing chamber and that sits right in here. We can um, sort of not think about this section of the gun now. Um, you can disassemble this too, but uh, for purposes of this video, we'll just talk about um, what's going on with this, the, the front of the gun right here. So now you can see here's, here's the check valves and here's the side seal chambers and uh, and if you're going to have a problem or have to replace one of the O-rings, there's a good chance it's, it's one of the O-rings that's in, in part of that assembly. So we can, I'll show you how to pull out your check valve. You have to have a pick or something, screwdriver, something along those lines, and you can get that out. So here's your check valve. And both of the check valves are the same so I'll just take out the one and then here's your uh, um, side seal chamber so and then inside the side seal chamber there is actually there's here's the side seal itself so we can we can either take a channel lock and pull the side seal out but we want to make sure that we don't scratch this surface here that meets up with the mixing chamber because uh, it's important that that we have a completely clean surface there. So what I like to do is 
you get there's a spring inside of this the side seal chamber and I'll put a pick in here and I'll sort of work the screwdriver around the little holes and you can push you can there it goes so you can push the spring forward and kind of knock the side seal out and here's that little spring I was just talking about right there so and here's the two o-rings that sit on the side seal chamber so you can put that spring back in there and then here's the o-ring that sits on the actual side seal and this is one of the common o-rings that needs to get replaced um, but so that's that's this assembly right here and so with the check valve assembly here's a screen that sits on on top of that and then you can unscrew this little tiny screw on top of uh, the check valve and then that sits inside of a spring and here's the little spring and then there's a little tiny ball in there that I'll set down so you can see um, so that little ball just sits in the bottom of the check valve and then there's these two o-rings right here so we can drop that ball back in there, set the spring back in there, and screw the little screw in. I want that screw to be about flush with the top of the check valve. Lay the screen back on, and then we can pop the check valve right back in, and go ahead and we can put our side seal back in the side seal chamber and whenever you're replacing the o-rings you want to make sure you lubricate the o-rings with grease so we can go ahead and pop the side seal chamber back in there once again we'll make sure that we don't have these all the way in so we can slide our mixing chamber uh, go ahead and put that in there and then uh, so turn it about an eighth of a turn and go ahead and tighten the lock ring. Let's see here. And now that that's tightened, we can go ahead and push the side seals all the way in, put the retaining ring back on and the air cap. So, uh, we've got the mixing chamber just flush with the air cap there. So, there you go, that's uh, the disassembly and reassembly of the front end of the gun. So, um, hopefully that helps you out with your uh, troubleshooting diagnostics when you're having some trouble spraying that should get you through 95% of the problems that that you may have uh, if you can access those o-rings and replace those o-rings then um, then you'll you'll be able to solve a good number of the problems that, that you have when when the gun starts spraying a little funny so uh, thanks for watching again we're spray foam engineers feel free to call the number on the website if you have any questions or you're having trouble spraying or you're looking for spray foam equipment or, foam, or spray foam for that matter. So thanks again, take care, bye-bye.